Oh hi. Have the dirt the city which is in northeast Kazakhstan and 450 came to the northeast from the capital of the country of the city of Nur Sultana and then 405 came to the southeast from the region city of Omsk on the Erdage River, the administrative center of the Pavla region. Pavlodar is in the physiographic relation on the West Siberian plain. In structure of the territory subordinated to city Akhamat. Administration. Besides actually city of Pavlodar and to the village Pavlodar. The population 46, 33, 19, 99, 53, 19 and 2009. Kenzakolsky Rural District The village of Kenzkol The population of 2848 and 1999, 3978 and 2009 The village of Baidala The population 573 and 1999, 521 and 2009 The village Long the population 330 in 1999, 274 in 2009. Lenin Settlement Administration. The Settlement Lenin. The population 8072 in 1999, 8619 in 2009. The Mordensky Rural District. The village of Moldy. The population 850 in 1999, 810 in 2009. The general population with Pavlodar makes 386,594 persons. In the city there are oil processing, chemical, aluminum, electrolysis, metallurgical, cardboard and rubberoid, machine building plants. Temperate climate, sharply continental. Long severe winter with steady snow cover. Since the end of October until the beginning of April. And hot summer with a small amount of rainfall. Average temperature of January minus 15. 8 degrees of a frost and July minus 21.5 degrees of heat. An average annual amount of precipitation minus 303. In the 9 12 centuries, on average, the Irtish current, presumably within modern Pavlodar and East Kazakhstan regions, the city of Imakia could be located. In some sources of Kamakia, Yim. The disappeared medieval Turkic town of Kimek, the capital of the Kimekski Kaganate. The source is unspecified 105 days. The Russian immigrants arrived to the territory prior to Shia in the 16th century for extraction of salt to Yamashozer. At the beginning of the 18th century under Peter I's decree began to build fortresses on the right coast of Irtish, such as Zelezinsky, Semipalatinsk, Ustkamenegorsk, Yamishevsky. And among them there was a Krikovsky outpost in which place the city of Pavlodar is. Near an outpost there were two salt lakes about which it is told in one of books of the time. Water in the lake is so transparent that to the bottom can be seen, and this salt is very pure, like icy asnets, salting a velma also is sweet. The peasants immigrants who arrived at the end of the 19th century and at the beginning of the 20th century were engaged in agriculture, plowed the earth, grew up vegetables, gardens, raised bread. Local Kazakhs who wandered on these lands with the cattle for a long time adopted their experience. On the remain documents, the outpost had the form of a square of 50 by 50 meters, was enclosed with a high timbered paling, on corners had bastions with artillery batteries. 
in an internal part barracks, outside stables and a bath were located. Olkarasan of an outpost consisted of 48 people. The outpost was constructed for fixing on new lands and protection of Cossacks against attacks de Zunger. Twenty-five years later the outpost expanded the borders a little, the garrison was increased, there were additional constructions for the Cossacks appointed to a Salido bike. Still two decades later permission to retire dragoons and soldiers was got to lodge on empty seats. Here allowed to lodge to contractors and officials of Salt Department. In the Pavlada Local History Museum there is a curious document, the plan of the Krikovsky outpost in 1765. Except barracks, offices, officer rooms and a powder cellar in the strengthening, are outside designated stables, sheds for a wagon train, a salt barn, two Kroviansky shops. On the outskirts of a peculiar settlement near Customs Tavern, on the bank of Irtish, a bath. The famous traveler of Palace so described an outpost in 1770. This outpost of all other across Irtish more populously also has the buildings best there. The commissioner of salt department and the contractor of supply of salt live here in fair houses. The extensive settlements divided into streets are built. During the second half of the 18th century, the Irtish strengthening lost the strategic value because colonization of Kazakhstan progressed further on the south. Fortresses and outposts became ordinary villages and villages to which the population from the central part of the empire was delivered. The Krikovsky outpost becomes one of the centers of a Salido bike in Siberia. In 1838 he was transformed to the village of Koryakovskaya and from Yamashev the Cossack school. Old residents Pavlodartsy remember this building on Lenin Street. The former school no. And regimental infirmary were translated here. By this time the village extended from an initial outpost towards the river station. An advantageous position of the village located on the bank of the big navigable river. The neighborhood with districts where developments of lead, copper, silver developed. The crossing of tradeways with the nomadic steppe, all these circumstances were very favorable to economic development of the village. The merchants which were more and more increasing in number from the middle of the 19th century began to try to obtain persistently change of the status of the Cossack village that would grant him the right to feel like here not guests, but owners. At last, for on April 16, 1861 the Krikovsky village receives the status, the unimportant town with the name Pavlodar. The little becomes later the city, the district center of the Semipalatinsk region. The history of emergence of the city is accurately reflected in the master plan created then. The being Krikovsky village remains as the Cossack part of the city, a new construction, it is generally supposed in a petty bourgeois northern part. They know. One present Lunacharsky Street on which there is the Russian drama theatre will become border between these areas. The description of this place relating to 1865. Five streets are built up mostly by shabby houses. The Cossack part. Between which houses a very decent exterior occasionally look up. The new city just builds up. A square on which the wooden church is placed, and behind her benches, a Gostiny row, here and all Pavlodar. But already merchants, generally Russian and Tatar, begin to be developed with might and main. 
the present dramatic theater is constructed on the basis of two merchant houses, Bolandina, closer to Café, and Surikova, Lenin and Lunacharsky's corner. On the contrary, through Lenin Street, the building of one of the Pavlodar banks is deeper. Lenina 153, the house of the merchant Ohapkin. Malls from a brick begin to build up the trading house of Derav. Nowadays, the museum. Post and cable offices mortgaged, and it is a lot more buildings, brick and wooden merchant houses, shops, educational institutions, churches. In 1900, Anne Conshin traveling sketches wrote to the Several streets with wooden houses, among which the stone building of prison looked the real palace. Pavlodar was it only ten years ago. But for the last ten years, the city very much expanded, built up, and now Pavlodar, one of the best cities in the Semipalatinsk region, with the brilliant future as Pavlodar, it's for sure. At the beginning of 1901 in Pavlida there was a fire which was the largest for all history of the city. Fire destroyed two-thirds of the city minus 427 yards. A wooden part of the city completely burned up. Over time it not only built up, but also grew, gaining value of large shopping center on Ertish. Statistics noted that in 1904 in the city there were 33 streets in the lane. Water supply from wells and artish, removal of sewage is made in barrels. There is no improvement in the city at all. There are no cobbled streets, sidewalks, and electric lighting on streets, transport. From the industrial enterprises minus 10 factories and the plants of handicraft type, handicraftsmen, one slaughterhouse. From the district cities of the Semipalatinsk region it is necessary to mention Pavlodar also especially. That his improvements quickly progresses. Already across Irtish steamships go, manufacturers Hosen and Tissen replaced windmill steam, already from coal mines of Ekabastos the railroad to Irtish is paved. The merchant capitals accrue. Pater F. Ramazanov built the mosque A. There I've put Vladimirsky Cathedral on the money, on the market square the wooden circus chapiteau is built. Change of a socio-economic structure in the country in October, 1917 didn't bring any sharp change in architectural appearance of the city. However, near the backwater the town of shipbuilders with club of Kubashev and school no. 13 appears. In the 1920th years the new wooden building for the alleged railway station around present locomotive depot is under construction. In itself it represented an interesting sample of wooden architecture, endured socialism and reorganization, but in the 1990th fell into private hands, burned down, in 2011 reconstruction is begun. In the 30th years all Pavlodar churches, a minaret on the mosque were torn down. From a brick of the former Trinity Cathedral the 16 apartment house, so-called cone, was built. However, unfinished Vladimirsky Cathedral which was tried to be blown up later survived, in the mid-70s it was sorted jackhammers. It interfered with reconstruction of the Octuba plant which in 1942 was evacuated to Pavlodar from Krasnodar. The city received second wind during development of a virgin soil. The beginning of new powerful construction was connected with the decision to build here the combine of and aluminum plants. At the beginning of January, 
1955 the first mechanized columns of builders began to arrive in Pavlodar. For administrative services and employees with families Shittisborne houses were under construction, new shops and table, household points opened. So, on the northern outskirts of the city the temporary town which began to be called administrative grew. Construction of Czech minus two construction base and production buildings of the plants begins. On the place of the current tram management set 28 railway cars with pig iron ovens, from the car to the car through a plank footway, there began work the headquarters of enormous building. In the city construction of networks of city plumbing and sanitary begins. Power supply issues are at the same time resolved. One of builders Solinikov won. Bolshakov left interesting memories of Pavlodar of those of years. It is remembered how in the May morning 1955 we went out of the car of the Moscow crane on stations Pavlodar. This station was located at the time in the shabby building around present bus station. Bus traffic in the city wasn't, and we had to go to hotel on the dray cart. The city was uncomfortable. From the building of the station the boundless step stretched to the left, and stocky outlines of mud huts with flat roofs were seen on the right. Over them as the beacon towered only, skyscraper, the three-story building which remained still under the name, 16 apartment house. In hotel. In modern Pavlodar, the Philharmonic Hall building. Wash out from ourselves road dirt, we decided to sightsee the city in Artish Embankment. Having wandered on dusty streets, we took out extremely unpleasant impression. The city was planted a little trees and shrubs, there were no cobbled streets and sidewalks, it was bad with external lighting, columns of city water supply weren't visible less than. Greater than from the high steep coast of Artish the beautiful view of the green floodplain of a left bank opened. Below at the coast barges and steamships manually unloaded. Right there knee deep in water there was a horse harnessed in the cart with a barrel. The elderly Kazakh, standing on the cart, a bucket on a long pole, without hurrying, I filled a barrel with river water which then I carried for the population for a payment. At the same time with construction of industrial facilities also construction of housing for future working plants began. In May 1955 in a festive atmosphere the excavator took out the first ladle from a ditch of future five-floor house at number one on May 1st Street. Since 1956 the population of Pavlodar began to increase intensively. From all territory of the Usser experienced experts went, there came on distribution also the young specialists who just graduated from higher education institutions owing to what the percent of the ethnic Kazakh population fell up to 9% and Kazakh was taught only at two schools. Somehow to solve a problem of an acute shortage of housing for the arrived qualified specialists, intensive construction of the private settlement in east part of the city. The second Pavlodar begins. The directorate of the Kambainovi plant makes the decision to accelerate construction of the inhabited massif down the street of Kubashev. Present Toragirova. Old five story buildings, as they are called now by citizens. At the same time, the kindergarten, a day nursery, is under construction. In December, 1956 the State Commission accepted in operation the first three five-story buildings on May 1st Street. Construction of two-storied shop, 25th, Artyber Movie Theatre, School No. 3 at which the Teachers College was placed later begins.
the allied plan of creation of the industrial power region provided placement in Pavlodar of a number of large industrial facilities. Combinavi, aluminum, oil processing plants, chemical plant and plants of building industry. The population of the city was supposed within 230,000 people. And the general plan of building of the city developed by Lenja Proger Institute was approved in 1957. In 1968 it was corrected taking into account new circumstances and already settlement population was defined in 380,000 people. In the city the new hotel, Sever, the hospital town appears. Now the two city hospital. Construction Technical School, the gardens are put, the Kazakhstan Hotel, the building of Regional Committee of Party is under construction. With the organization in Salinograd of Leading Design Institute, Salimproyet, in the city his branch is formed, and the staff of this branch develops projects of buildings of a television center with a 180-meter tower, a tubercular clinic, the new building of Normal School, the office building of Industrial Institute, the Pavlodar's first residential district in borders of streets of Kubishev. Taregorev. Kutuzova. Lermontova and Korolenko. In 1969 the Kazov Selproid Institute which staff continued work on architectural registration of the city is created. community work day in 1966 the directorate of the Kambanavi planned and a city town committee of party organized public works on planting of trees in Burvanist square where there was a batch of really privately owned cattle earlier. Besides time also the beginning of works on improvement of the steep coast of Eritish at the beginning of 40 let lex. Is an Aliva Street belongs thanks to powerful mechanization and amicable work of all participants. The river bank in several hours became unrecognizable. Planning of the territory and slopes was carried out. The site of the beach is sanded, walking paths are laid, the concrete balustrade is constructed ashore, support of external lighting and pedestals for sculptures are established. At the same time the construction of the city's first stadium on Tolstoy Street. Begun at the initiative of the first secretary of a city town committee of party 5. Kraminin began. Works on improvement of the city were conducted at the expense of the new plants. Tambaynavi paved streets and sidewalks on Mira Street, Kubishev, on May 1, Josinskan access roads to the plant, and the aluminum plant performed works on Sverdlov. Lomav Street and the access road to Chep-1. Since the same time the regular movement of the buses which connected major projects with the city is opened. In 1965 the first site of the tram line is put into operation. At the expense of the plants there is a reconstruction of all Pavlodar railway junction. 1720 the military Cossack outpost Krikovsky with garrison and 48 people is founded on the place of present Pavlodar. The 19th century. 1861, the Krikovsky village is transformed to the unimportant town of Pavlodar by the decree of the Emperor Alexander II from 4 on April 16. In honor of the younger son Pavel. From Omsk, the first steamship ever came for Krikovsky salt. 1868, Pavlodar becomes the district center of the Semipalatinsk region. The first half of the 20th century. 1901, May, heavy fire, 427 houses burned up. 1903, the first bicycle in the city appeared at the office employee Nikolai Nikulin. 
1904, the first steam mill for grain grind is constructed. 1905, workers' water transport workers for the first time celebrated on May 1 on the Usalkani Island. 1906, the emergence of the first social democratic group. Six, eight people. 1908, the Russian bank, Asian for Foreign Trade, is founded. The men's parish, Alakivsky School, is opened. 1910, and A. Derev's house opened Russian Karjai's to great school. 1917, August, left the first issue of the Svobodnaya Step newspaper, Body of Association of Cooperatives. 1917, November, is organized group of Red Guard of Council of Working and Soldiers deputies numbering 250 people. On February 1918, one, the Soviet power is established. 1920, the first telephone exchange of manual action is led to 20 numbers. 1920, January, a premiere of the drama of Schiller, Robbers, opened the first Soviet theater of K. Marx. On August 1922, five in a day 105 of rainfall dropped out. 1924, the railroad, Slavgorod, Kalunda, Pavlodar is started up in operation. The Pavlodar station is built. 1926, the first city power plant, the power of 100 U is constructed. 1929, the beginning of development of radio in Pavlodar. 1929, the expedition of Academy of Sciences of the Usar on Goose Flight conducts excavation of prehistoric animals. 1930-1932, Massachusetts hunger in Kazakhstan win as a result of violent withdrawal of the cattle for needs of workers in the Urals, Siberia about 2,300,000 Kazakhstan citizens, from them 2,100,000 of indigenous people perish, considerably concerned also Pavlodar. 1937, Massachusetts repressions. On May 1938, 23, at 1340 near the city council. Lunacharsky Street. The meteorite weighing 120 G fell. On January 1938, 15, the Pavlodar region of the Kazakh Sir with the center in the city of Pavlodar is formed. 1938, the mechanical plant October is placed. On January 1940, it, at the first session of the first convocation of Regional Council of Deputies of Workers, the Pavlodar Regional Executive Committee was elected. 1942, the October plant is organized. On September 1945, 19, the joint Kazakh Russian Drama Theater in Pavlodar is formed. 1948, July, Airlines Pavlodar, Karaganda and Pavlodar, Akmalinsk are open. 1949, June, the first piston two engine Lee minus two plane opened a route Pavlodar, Moscow. 1949, the railway bridge through Urtish is built. 1949, at the airport of Pavlodar, the first turbo propeller plane from Almaty landed. the second half of the 20th century. On December 1953, 20, the railroad, Pavlodar, Akmalinsk is started. 1954, February, March, to the Pavlodar station there arrived the first echelons with Selinik. 1955, the beginning of construction of big industrial Pavlodar. 1956, the beginning of construction of the Combine of a plant and combined heat and power plant, there arrived builders of aluminum plant. 1957, the question of a construction in the city of the well-planned beach is solved. On December 1958, 13, the radio fan of A. 5. Noted a polar light in the sky of Pavlodar which lasted about an hour. 
on September 1960, 20, the Pavlodar Industrial Institute is formed. On February 1961, 1, the Pavlodar Chep minus 2 gave the first current. 1962, the road bridge through the Irtish River in Pavlodar is built. 1962, the Pavlodar Teacher Training College is formed. On October 1962, 31, the Otho Anmal Drum Bridge through Irtish 700 and Long is put in operation. On June 1964, 30, the Pavlodar Chep-1 is put in operation. On October 1964, 20, the first alumina on Pavlodar alumina plant is received. 1965, the regional television center is started up in operation. On March 1966, 4, the Pavlodar tractor plant is formed. 1967, the plant of the special tool and industrial equipment at Peets is organized. Turns of aluminum plant are put in operation the second and third. On August 1968, 12, I rolled the first DD-75M tractor Kazakhstan off the production line of the Pavlodar tractor plant. 1970, August, the first stage of Bogotar coal mine is put into operation. 1971, it is put in operation construction Irtish, Karaganda Channel. On October 1972, 2, the Pavlodar Chep-3 three is started up. On April 1973, 10, the decree of Presidium of the Supreme Council of the Kazakh Sir in Pavlodar formed two administrative urban areas. Ilyachevsk and Industrial. On December 1974, 30, the Pavlodar Cardboard and Rubberoid plant is accepted in operation. 1976, June in airfield landed the first turbojet to minus 154 liner. On March 1977-24, the resolution of the Central Committee of the CSU and Council of Ministers of the USO about creation of Ekabastos fuel and energy complex and construction of the power line of a direct current of 1500 kV Ekabastos Center is accepted. 1977-1990 1977, November, on the oil pipeline the first human oil on oil refinery arrived. On June 1978, nine the first products were turned out by oil refinery. 1990, February, the first city meeting in support of reorganization and publicity. 1990, August, the customs service, the first post at the airport is organized. 1990, November, the regime of sale of goods to the population only by passports, on the established norms is introduced. On December 1991, 30, the new tram line in Pavlodar on Kutuzov Street. Before crossing from Lomov Street. Became operational. 1993, as of January 1 in Pavlodar with the settlement. Lenin 367.4 thousand people lived. Cushing complex is a traditional decoration of streets and squares of the city of Pavlodar. 1993, December, the second power unit of Ekabastos Gres-2 is launched. 1994, June, Industrial and Pedagogical Institutes of Pavlodar are united in the Pavlodar State University. 1994, Sverdlov Street in Pavlodar is renamed into A. Lomov Street, Turgenev Street into M. Kerbaeva Street, Krasnormitsevsev Street into 1. Krivenko Street. 1996, Housing and Communal Services are demonopolized, Kakar created. On June 1996, 21, laying of foundation of the sacred and Troitsk's temple in the village of Zhelezinka took place. 
on May 1997, and on the Central Square of Pavlidor for the first time there passed the amateur auto racing which became during the period from 1997 to 2008 an integral part of the festive events held on the main square of the city. 1997, October, in Pavlidor took place the International Festival, Anale in Ertz minus 97. On May 1998, 17, construction of the railway line AXA, final is begun. On November 1998, 24, the celebrations devoted to the 60th anniversary of the Pavlida region in which the President of Kazakhstan and Nazarbayev participated were held. On August 1999, 28, consecration of street. Nicholas Chapel in Pavlodar took place. On October 1999-23, the ceremonial opening of Annunciation Cathedral of Pavlodar and a foundation stone laying of the main mosque of Pavlodar was held. The 21st century. On September 2023, the celebration of the City Day of Pavlodar within which the architectural complex of the new embankment was opened was held and the first horse racing competitions on a city hippodrome were held. On October 2017, in Pavlodar consecration of the Temple of St. Teresa Mladenca of Jesus of Catholic Church took place. On October 2025, in Pavlodar at the building of Regional Art Museum, the monument to the poet and philosopher Sultan Mahmoud Taregarev is open. On July 2007, 21, the first musical festival in the open air, open air relax summer sun party is held. The organizer, the L Music Production Company. 2007-2011, there is an active building of the residential district Asolka. On April 2010-12, opening of a monument to Kanisha Mantevich sat Payev near Akhamat of the city of Pavlodar. On January 2011-24, a torch relay of the seven Winter Asian Games. On September 2012, 19, the 9 Forum of Inner Regional Cooperation of Kazakhstan and Russia. On June 2013, 24, 29, the 20th International Volleyball Tournament on the President's Cup was held. 2015, October, Pavlodar came to the end a competition in creation of a new municipal coat of arms. 2016, April, the Reba Street is renamed into Saraganov. Importance of the fact On May 2016, 21, on the embankment of the city there took place the meeting against the amendments to the legislation providing transfer to land lease to foreigners for a period of 25 years. 2016, June is leased the first house of the new region of Suryaka which is under construction on the place of the decayed houses of Alia Minstroy constructed in the Soviet years. On December 2016, 14, the new bridge through Artish is open. On January 2017, nine new Archangel Michael Church near the park of Gagarin opened. On December 2020, 23, the monument to the Kazakh poet, philosopher and thinker to Abay Kunin Bayev opened. On March 2021, 21, the monument to the Kazakh Akin, singer and composer S. Tuber Kimbe opened. On January 2022, 5, on the central square before Akhamat there took place the unsanctioned anti-governmental rally. In the same day in the Pavlodar region the state of emergency regime was introduced. On January 13 the state of emergency mode was cancelled by the decree of the president. After the meetings in the city 909 people were detained, 345 people were by a court decision arrested for a period of up to 15 days, 
administrative penalties at a rate of 30 MIP per imposed on 288 violators. Economy by the industrial enterprises of the city in 2009 it is made products for the total amount of 240. 5 billion tenges including on the industries. Manufacturing industry minus 203.0 billion tenges the mining industry minus 0.7674 billion tenges production and power distribution gas and water minus 36.7 billion tenges. Enterprises Aluminum of Kazakhstan Kazakhstan Aluminum Smelter Pavlodar Machinery Plant Pavlodar Petrochemical Plant Caustic Soda Pavlodar Cardboard and Ruberoid Plant PG Steel LP Kazanergo Cable Pavlodar Tube Rolling Plant Nolk Pavlodar Today is the largest tram system in Kazakhstan. Total length of contact network is 89 km. The tram park has 109 passenger trams. Also there is the international bus traffic to Novosibirsk, Krasnoyarsk, Barnal, Omsk and Rutsovsk. There is a river station. Local transportations by Moscow motor ships and cargo port. Now just Pavlodar River Port works, the large transport and industrial enterprise which is engaged in transit of freights, production and selling of river sand cells and transports crushed stone, coal, performs works on cleaning of hydrological objects. Just Pavlodar River Port, one of actively operating ports on the Irtish River. The project of modern Pavlodar River Port was developed in 1955 by Giperectron's Design Institute on the instructions of the Ministry of the River Fleet of the USA. Since 1965 the former pier of Pavlodar was renamed by the resolution of Council of Ministers of Kassar into Pavlodar River Port. From this point in Pavlodar the river port equipped with the latest reloading appliances functions. To the middle of the 1980th years Pavlodar River Port became the largest transshipment hub. At the time on volumes of transfer of freights, Pavlodar River Port was in the first place among 40 river ports of the Soviet Union. On average in a year transported about 6.5 million tons of various freights to this period. Since 2001 just Pavlodar River Port carries the status of private enterprise. Today Pavlodar is the center of regional development of high technologies. So on November 21, 2007 the Kazakh Telecom Company officially declared completion of construction of networks of new generation of NC. In the same day in Pavlodar, an internet data center of the Pavlodar branch, Kazakh Telecom, there took place the presentation of start of Ngin local network. Introduction of Ng allows the company to transfer the subscribers from outdated analog stations on the new platform at once, having excluded an operational stage digital 8C. For the beginning of 2021, the population of the city minus 333,479 people, as a part of the territory of city Akamat together with several suburban rural settlements of 361,903 people. National structure of the territory of city Akamat For the beginning of 2021 Kazakhs minus 175,628 people, 48.53%. The Russian minus 146,555 people, 40.49%. Ukrainians minus 13232 people, 3.65%. 
Germans minus 7706 people, 2.12%. Tatas minus 7090 people, 1.95%. Belarusians minus 1728 people, 0.50%. English minus 1209 people, 0.33%. Azerbaijanians minus 916 people, 0.25%. Moldavians minus 750 people, 0.20%. Chechens minus 743 people, 0.21%. Koreans minus 586 people, 0.17%. Poles minus 420 people, 0.12%. Lashkars minus 399 people, 0.11%. Bulgarians minus 368 people, 0.10%. Chuvish minus 269 people, 0.08%. Now in the territory of the city take place. Three universities. Pavlodar State Pedagogical University. Boom. Terrader of University. CTs. Innovative Eurasian University. Anu. The Pavlodar Musical School of P. 1. Tchaikovsky later renamed into the Pavlodar Musical College and on the basis of which in 2005 created GU, Musical College, Musical Boarding School for Exceptional Children, Complex. Pavlodar Business College. Pavlodar Polytechnical College. Pavlodar Machine Building College. Pavlodar Chemical and Mechanical College. Pavlodar Art College. Pavlodar Medical Highest College. School I soon know. It's for exceptional children. 43 comprehensive schools. The Kazakh Turkish I soon for gifted young men. The Kazakh Turkish Lyceum Boarding School for Gifted Girls, 2001. Nazarbayev Intellectual School of the Chemical and Biological Direction. Functions since August 27, 2013. Gymnasium of a Name of a Bay for Exceptional Children, two theaters. Pavlodar Drama Theater of A. P. Chekhov. Kazakh Musical Drama Drama Theatre of Imoitov 17 Libraries Local History Regional Museum Museum of Modern Art House Museum of Song Creativity of Marishan Sadinova Magaev's House Museum The Museum of Bukhartuay Jira House Museum of Pavel Vasilyev Branch and Clinical Base of the State Medical University of the City of Semi Salmon Culture Press In Pavlodar and the Pavlodar region there are on a regular basis of the newspaper Vasaya, Avesta Priyatishia, Saryara Samali, Obozranai Nedeli, Poratskaya Nedelia, Ardija Veteran, also many others. Religious life. In the city, the mosque of Mashkar Jusip is located. Life of the Muslim community is rather active. Also, there are Orthodox and Catholic communities, two Evangelic and Lutheran communities, community of Evangelical Baptist Christians, Pentecostals, Seventh day Adventist Church, community of the Charismatic Direction, Jesus Christ's Church, Presbyterian Church, Grace. The Orthodox community, belonging to the Pavlodar and Ekabastos diocese. 
contains in the city and the field of six arrivals, four of them in prison institutions. In the territory of AP-162-3 there is a church of street. Righteous John of Kronstadt, in AP-162-4 the church in honor of the holy life-giving trinity is constructed. AP-162-5 includes church in honor of Blessed Virgin Mary's icon, collecting the dead, and AP-162-2, the temple in honor of Blessed Virgin Mary's icon, all grieving pleasures. The Catholic community of the Saint Church of Teresa Mladenca of Jesus at the moment spiritually nurtures the city and 15 neighboring villages where there are no own communities. Services are carried out in houses at Believers, and in one case, in Rural Club, in the village of Krasna Armeka since 1979 there is a chapel kaplitsa. Sisters nuns from Congregation of Sisters of Eucharistic Jesus serve in community. In Pavlada there is also a synagogue. Now the city endures a boom of the development that is expressed in the growing variety of city events. In the city there are several night clubs, festivals are held. On the city beach which is arranged well at the beginning of the Ord years there take place concerts of representatives of the Kazakhstan and Russian platform. In the museums of the city constantly there take place the exhibitions and actions which are of art interest. In the city there is a musical college. The community of the residents preferring heavy music is also rather big not to remain unnoticed. In the city there are local bands executing rock and metal music. Regularly there take place musical actions of the corresponding character. Sport from Massachusetts occupations, physical culture and sport to the population of the city at the moment provided sports constructions minus five stadiums, the ice arena Astana, its sports complexes, nine swimming pools, 133 gyms, a track and field athletics arena, youth, three skiing lodges and some other constructions. In Pavlada such famous athletes as Lyudmila Prokashieva, the bronze prize winner of the Winter Olympic Games of 1998 in Nagano in the city of Nagano were born and studied. Perspective skiers, numerous champions of Kazakhstan, picks of the national team of Kazakhstan Andriy Golovko and Denis Krivishin, participants of the 20 Winter Olympic Games in Turin. The Roman Valiev, the participant of four Olympic Games. Athens, Greece, minus 2004, Beijing, China, minus 2008, London, England, minus 2012, and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, minus 2016, Victoria Yolovtseva, the dick of the national team of Kazakhstan on track and field athletics the champion of the Republic of Kazakhstan and Asian Games in Thailand. Syed al the champion of Kazakhstan in Judo, the bronze prize winner of the World Cup of Group A, and many others. Traditional interest is shown by Pavladerits to soccer. The soccer team, Ertish, whose home arena is the central stadium of the city, the five-time champion of Kazakhstan, the owner of the Cup of the Country. 1997-98 The semi-finalist of the Asian Cup of Champions. 2001 The participant of prestigious international draws, the Champions Leagues of OEA and the OEA Europa League. It's also the most titled team of modern Kazakhstan by quantity of the medals collected for a lifetime of the highest division. Hockey In October 2003 in Pavlada the Ice Arena Astana was open. 
and one year it was decided to form the team of masters later, Hockey Club Ertish, which participated in the Ice Hockey Championship of Kazakhstan. The highest league. Also the team acted in the Championship of Russia. The first league. And in a season 2007-2008 in the Russian superiority of the first league, the Pavlodar team won silver awards. The season of 2008-2009 was lost for team. In the championship of the Republic of Kazakhstan in a season 2010-2011 team took the third place. Ip Ertuch in a season 2011-2012 for the first time took the second place in the regular championship of Kazakhstan in ice hockey, and the next year Ertuch for the first time in history won gold medals of championship of the country. In Pavlodar Maxim Kuznetsov was born, in 1995 he became the first native of Kazakhstan who was chosen in the first round of a draft of Nanal. At the general 26th number he was chosen by Detroit Red Ewings Club. Maxim Kuznetsov is one of the best Kazakhstan hockey players of the last years and the best defender of Kazakhstan for all the time of a performance of the athletes it is from this country in the strongest professional league of the world of Nano. By the number of the matches. 136. Played in Nano takes the second place among Kazakhstan citizens after the forward Nikolay Antropov. In Pavlodar Maxim began to play hockey and received the first skills of a game in the hockey section, rising, for children and young people. Maxim Kuznetsov the only owner of the Stanley Cup from Kazakhstan. In the city chess has rather high level of development. In the city there take place numerous competitions, cups, tournaments, such, for example, as, Pavlodar Open, the cup of the Pavlodar region on fast chess. Active part in chess life of the city is taken by the international grand masters Reina Jumabeyev and Pavel Kotso, the international masters Anton Skorijin, Evany Egorov, Valentin Zakharov, Vladimir Grebenshikov, Alexander Shabrin. Also in Pavlodar there are more than 10 male and female masters of FIDE. The website Chess Pavlodar functions, the project manager is the master of FIDE Grigory Skorijin. Creation of participants of an amateur auto racing on the central square of Pavlodar, the celebration of the city day, on August 26, 2006. until the end of the 1990th years in the regional center professional cars and motorcycle races. Alley and autocross, winter track cycling, karting, cross country race. And since 1997 an amateur auto racing were actively carried up. Rally, figure driving, a drag racing. The Pavlodar races were always one of the fastest in Kazakhstan. In 2007 revival of professional auto racing team of the city took place. Tavlader is the homeland of Nikolai Kulpin who in 1992 was a part of the national team of the CISIS on boxing at the Olympic Games in Barcelona. Also Pavlodar was the place of his first serious fight in 1992 Nikolai won against Viktor Aldoshin. Mayors Trebekin Fyodor Vasilievich 1963-1964 Kramenin Vladimir Vasilievich 1964-1965 Mikhev Mikhail Matvievich 1965-1974 Pastry Cooks Gennady Ivanovich Tilda 1975-1980 Nikiforov Gennady Alexievich, 1982-1988.
Chairman of the Executive Committee of the City Soviet of People's Deputies. Sokharev Nikolay Georgievich, from March 1926 to February 1927, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Skolsky Nikolay Andreevich, from March 1928 to January 1929, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Sultanka Piat Ivanovich, from January 1929 to August 1929, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Stroya Mikhail Vasilievich, from August 1929 to September 1930, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Smirnov Dutry Ivanovich, from October 1932 to January 1932, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Chudnov Konstantin Alexievich, from January 1932 to October 1932, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Polobitsky Georgi Grigory Spiridonovich, from June 1932 to October 1933, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Tipolev Kliman Vasilievich, from February 1933 to October 1933, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Shubrashitsky Yesif Lyudovich, from October 1933 to June 1934, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Sultanka Piat Ivanovich, from August 1934 to November 1934, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Nazdin Fiofananizimovich, from 1934 to May 1935, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Taldigalev Takavi. Taldigadev Taljugulev. From May 1935 to December 1935, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Korbenko Nikolay Nikiforovich, from December 1935 to August 1939, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Parishan Pyat Nikitovich, from December 1939 to October 1941, the Chairman of the Pavlodar City Council of Working Country and Red Army Deputies. Halishin Tikhan Petrovich, from October 1941 to November 3, 1942, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlodar City Council of Deputies of Workers. Akhmatov Abdullah Akhmetovich, from November 3 to January 24, 1944, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlodar City Council of Deputies of Workers. Artamanov Semyon Nesterovich, from January 1944 to April 1946. Sergozin Shade Akhmet, from April 1946 to April 1946, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlodar City Council of Deputies of Workers. Tlegenev Ibrahim Tlegenevich, from July 1951 to July 1954, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlodar City Council of Deputies of Workers. Yusbe F. Karate, from June 1954 to April. 1955, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlodar City Council of Deputies of Workers. Ovianikov Vasily Ivanovich, from April 11, 1955 to February 11, 1959, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlodar City Council of Deputies of Workers. 
Medvedev Yakov Nikolaevich, from March 1959 to November 1960, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of Deputies of Workers. Babchenko Dutrivasilievich, from November 4, 1960 to March 1963. Vaklamov Boris Alexandrovich, from March, 1963 to March 30, 1965, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of Deputies of Workers. Tarasenko Mikhail Sergeyevich, from March 30, 1965 to March 31, 1967, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of Deputies of Workers. Milishkin Arkady Stepanovich, from March 31, 1967 to April 24, 1970, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of Deputies of Workers. Osnikov Konstantin Ivanovich, from April 1970 to November 9, 1976, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of Deputies of Workers. Azarev Evany Grigorievich, from November 9, 1976 to July 13, 1981, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of Deputies of Workers. Jason Amirna Makambetovich, from July 17, 1981 to March 1987, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of Deputies of Workers. Since October 1977, People's Deputies. Alaguzinov Serik Karabatirovich, from March 1987 to May 18, 1988, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of People's Deputies. Obakarev Aman Zolbozabayevich, from June 25, 1988 to February 1. 1991, the Chairman of Executive Committee of the Pavlada City Council of People's Deputies. Akins. Ryumkin Alexander Vasilievich. 1991-1994. Vladimir Pytin. August 1994-April 1998. Mike Nikolai Ivanovich. April 1998 on March 7, 2003. Nerpisev Kharitate Makumbatovich. On March 7, 2003, on June 14, 2003. Demuv Baker Samutovich. June 2003, April 2009. Zulaminov Bakitchen Tolozonovich. On April 24, 2009, on September 26, 2011. Kerjeldinov Orazeldi Alagazinovich. On October 8, 2011, on April 12, 2014. Makarov Bulatsumabekovich. On April 12, 2014, on March 25, 2016. Ashimbatov Nursin Kemerovich. On April 12, 2016, on August 22, 2018. Kampkiv Anur Kergeldivich. On August 22, 2018, on July 2, 2019. Nukhanov Kerit Amershatovich. On July 10, 2019, on July 27, 2020. Years in a Man's Lion. On July 27, 2020, on July 19, 2021. Hussein Bakanov. See on July 19, 2021. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.